Hi, my name is Joe Klug. I'm a Solution Development Manager for Neuron ESB. In this short video, I am going to demonstrate the capabilities of the Neuron ESB Microsoft Project Connector for NetSuite. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to refer to this as the Project Connector. The Project Connector allows Microsoft Project users to connect to NetSuite SRP. They can browse a list of SRP projects that they have access to. They can select one of those projects and then download it into Microsoft Project for just viewing purposes, or they could even modify it. And if they wanted to modify it, they could do things like add task, they could delete task, they could change the start time of task, they can even change the estimated time for a task to complete. However, note that if you download a NetSuite SRP project and some of those tasks have time entries already assigned to them, those specific tasks would be locked and you can't change them in Microsoft Project. Another thing you can do with the Project Connector is you can actually take a brand new Microsoft Project project and upload it into NetSuite SRP. And finally, if you want to be able to assign resources from NetSuite directly to tasks inside of Microsoft Project, the Project Connector also gives you the ability to download those resources and then you can add them as needed. Okay, now that you have a quick overview of what the Project Connector does, let's show you how it does it. To download a project from NetSuite SRP, all a Microsoft Project user needs to do is open Microsoft Project and create a blank project. Once the blank project is created, you will see on the ribbon a NetSuite tab which gives you access to the three functions that this connector supports. You can get a project, you can upload a project, and you can also download a list of resources from NetSuite. This other button here, Properties, allows you to set your NetSuite credentials that will be used for connecting to NetSuite SRP. While this dialog will retain your user ID from session to session, it will never retain your password though. So I'm going to quickly add my password and click OK so it's saved. And now the first thing I want to do is demonstrate retrieving a project. So I'm going to click Get Project, and it's going to bring up a dialog that lists all the projects that are available to me in NetSuite SRP. I'm going to select this last one here, this Software Development Plan, and click the Open button. And in short order, you're going to see the NetSuite SRP project displayed in the Gantt chart inside a Microsoft project. And here it is. So I'm going to expand a few things so that you can see these better. And then if you want to see what this looks like in NetSuite Navigate over here, and this is the project I downloaded, PRJ1100. I'm going to go ahead and view it. And going down to the project task here, you can see my scope is from 7.11 to 7.14. And if I navigate back to Microsoft Project, this matches up. And if you went through all of these, you would see that they, the task start and end dates match up together. But this is what allows you to download a project. Now from here, let's say I decided I don't really want my first task to start next week on um, um, July 11th. Maybe I want to instead start on July 18th. And so I've gone through and Microsoft Project does its thing where it automatically updates all the other tasks. But now I need to save this. Saving this is just as simple as clicking Upload Project. So when I click Upload Project, it's going to go through and it's going to update everything in for this project in NetSuite SRP. This takes a little bit because it has to do every record one at a time. There we go. It says project successfully uploaded. So now with my new start of 7.18 to 7.21, I can come over here. I can do a refresh on my project. It's going to refresh it. And you can see that my scope now has a start date of 7.18 with an end date of 7.21. And all these other dates have been adjusted accordingly. So it's really simple to download a project, make changes, and then upload that project back to NetSuite. Now what else might you want to do? Well, I think creating a new project and uploading it to NetSuite SRP is also a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close project here, and I'm going to go ahead and open it again. And as opposed to creating a blank project, I'm going to come over to Software Development Plan, and I'm going to just create a brand new template out of here. Right, and so you can see in here, these are pretty much all the same task, but with the start date of today as opposed to next week or the week after. And if I really wanted to, I could come in NetSuite and click Get Resources. Now, you notice I closed NetSuite and started it again, so I have to add my password one more time before I get my resources. I'll click OK, and it's going to retrieve my resources. And if I went to View, Resource Sheet, you can 
the all the resources in here downloaded from NetSuite. Get rid of that splitter. Now let's go back to my Gantt chart, and then I could also, if I wanted to, if I expand my scope, I could come over here, just remove management, and we could put Abby in here if we wanted to. So you could change the resources to the NetSuite resources. And then finally, once I've made whatever changes I have in here, I can come over to NetSuite and click Upload Project. And it's going to take my project and it's going to add a new project into NetSuite. There we go. We're successfully uploaded. Now if I come back to NetSuite, I come over here. Actually, you can see the one I have right here. It's PRJ1101. And with the start date of 7.5, if I went ahead and viewed this, you can see my project starting on uh, 7.5, or my scope task that starting on 7.5 and on 7.8. Same thing you have right here, 7.5 to 7.8. And if I look at my resources, you can see I've added Abby as one of my resources to the NetSuite project. And there you have it. This is the Microsoft or the Neuron ESB Microsoft Project Connector for NetSuite. If you have any questions, you can contact me at joe.klug at neuronesb.com. Thank you.